Hey everyone, good morning. Yesterday we talked about how our Christmas trees can really tell a beautiful story through all of the different ornaments that we have on there. And I know in our house uh, we love to have that annual tradition of making our own ornaments because it's really cool to see that collection grow. We've challenged ourselves to play around with different materials and styles each year. Uh, everything from wood and wire, PVC pipe, lots and lots of fun. And we also love to uh, form up some dough or some clay to create different ornaments. And I wanted to share with you if you still have a little bit of creative energy in you and are looking for a project to do over the weekend, this is a good one. This dough you can make really quickly. It's beautiful to work with. And this is just a mixture of uh, one cup of baking soda, half a cup of cornstarch, and then I threw in uh, three fourths of a cup of water. You're gonna stir that up until you have this nice uh, milky uh, mixture. You're gonna put it on the stove and then you cook it. Um, st keep stirring it, bring it to a boil, and it's going to start to um, uh, pull away from the pan and get all sticky. And you're gonna end up with this uh, big lump of what looks like mashed potatoes. That's when it's ready. So take it out of your pan, put it on a surface that you've dusted with some cornstarch, and you have this really soft, uh, kind of silky dough to work with. And I love how um, it's this beautiful, pure white. And then you can roll it out and you can create all kinds of different shapes using your cookie cutters. You can do some, uh, you know, just shaping of them and have some more dimensional pieces but you can do you know freehand cutting as well but what i love about this is you can also uh, create gift tags uh, to put on your gifts i've got some here that uh, you can use and then you can write on it uh, you can create all kinds of different texture and patterns on this dough because it picks up all of the detail from your rubber stamps and you just put uh, Put it on your ink pad if you want to add some color to it. And I do this before I bake or dry out the dough. And I want you to see what a beautiful job this dough does of picking up the detail of your stamp, the color of the inks that you're using. And you don't have to use the ink. You could just stamp your designs in there and then come back in um, after the fact and use paints and different things, markers. But uh, it's a really uh, flexible dough that you can take in a lot of different directions. And then once you have all of your ornaments uh, or your tags and different things uh, laid out, put it on a cookie sheet and then you can let them air dry, which is gonna take a little bit longer, or just put them in a really low heat oven oven uh, at about 170 degrees and uh, let them uh, just really slowly dry out and then you are ready to hang them display them paint them you know further embellish them if you like but this is a good one it's quick it's inexpensive uh, you can make several different batches of it give everybody their own little pile of dough and let them have at it a great project for the weekend so i'm gonna turn it back over to you lou now uh, you guys have a great day a great weekend and we'll see you back here next week. Oh.